Hey guys, it's me, Ryan Thunderbird here. Today, I'm bringing you another video. It's, it's, uh, a Life Gear, uh, uh, video. Pretty much just showing you my healing gear this time. Exalted, yes. But I don't think you have to be exalted to get all these pieces of gear, so I'm gonna show you the stats. Uh, horrible damage. Uh, horrible resist. Okay, accuracy, it's just there. I've got horrible crit, <laughs> okay crit block, decent power fibs, 110 healing altogether, so that's what I go for, obviously, because I don't really use anything else. Oh, I wonder, nope, no common tail. Anyway, I'm going to show you my gear now, what I'm using. I have the Poseidon's Breath Ardor for the healing, because it gives two percentages. Everyone just wants attention these days. Sneaking in my videos, like, like Kestrel. Okay. <laughs> So I, I really like this for the healing. Gives good pips too. Not the best crit, but it's there. And it's nice. Here I have the Sultan's Robe, which I will show you how I can switch it out later. And which will improve my stats. But th you've seen this in the previous video, so you might be a bit familiar with it. Here is the Slippers of Nephrite. I have it for the healing, but the 15% outgoing. But the critical and crit block, those... That's just like complimentary, and they uh, they also help me crit and block, obviously, a decent amount of the time. So they're actually really good boots to have for healing, especially when when you're healing others outside of yourself. And so here's the lunar scepter of Nubis. It could change to the silver order of the spiral, silver order of the spiral. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway. And that gives you 100 block and like 20 outgoing, so I'm 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 gonna try and get it. You get it from the Keeper's Lore along with Jade Gear, so I've only gotten one piece of Jade Gear, which is the hood. But anyway, I have the Cosmic Chris, which is it just gives insane healing and good power rips too. So it gives you like awesome incoming, awesome outgoing. So it's just the best for healing, like ever. This is Jewel of the Faint, which I can switch to this if I want, because I'm cool. This is for outgoing. This is my outgoing gear, by the way. I can It's decent stats outgoing gear, kind of. Ring of the Dying Star, which is changeable. I can change it to the Stellar Signet if I wanted to go for other stats. I'm going to pause the video. I will see you guys in a second. I'm just... Okay, so just bear with me here. Okay, guys, we're back, and so I'll just got a little bit interrupted there, so sorry. Basically, I have the Stellar Signet for my, you know, my more selfish gear, but I'll get to that later, obviously, as I will with my other stuff. So, let's review the stats. That, pet, same, and this stuff, it's, it's all just there. I could have a healing deck, <laughs> too bad I don't have one. Anyway, I will cut to the, cut the video. I'm gonna switch to my my uh, more selfish gear so once again i'm going to let you see this okay okay guys so we're back and as you can see my outgoing is the same so it's not really selfish gear it's more of just sacrificing more stats gear see i have less block less critical and all that stuff more power clips though so that's good basically i put on a different ring switched out my robe if you can see that it's pretty weird. This, my resistance goes down, my damage goes up, which doesn't matter because I'm not hitting. Accuracy stays the same. I'll show you my gear now. I still have this, the Poseidon's helmet. I switched to the Queen's Color Guard jacket. It gives awesome incoming and outgoing, 30% total. So that's just an amazing robe to have. I could also switch it out to this thing. If I wanted 20 outgoing, but I don't think it's worth it because it's 5% and you're losing 15% on another end. You'd gain 5% on your outgoing but lose 15 on your incoming, so I just don't think it's a fair trade-off. Of course, you'd gain more critical, but it is what it is. So my slippers of nephrite, these stayed the same. I they're They're pretty much just my standard healing gear, you know... The, they're just my favorite. I know I could get the color guard when that when Yule Tide comes around, 
but also I can switch to the Sword of Kings. This thing gives me 25 more outgoing. Once again, if I get Silver Order the Spiral, it, that'll be great because I can maintain a decent amount of block and also have amazing healing as well. 100% outgoing it'll give me with the 66 in. So that would be my ideal healing gear. Also, the other stats, they don't really matter. The critical's horrible, so that's just, that's what it is. See, it really suffers this side of my stats. Anyway, I have the Cosmic Chris, just like last time. I could switch to this. Nah. This would be for block if I was going more defensive of a playstyle like tanking. Then I would switch back to the Sultan's Robe and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm going for the ultimate healing gear right now, though. So this is the Stellar Signet. This is... I switched on to this rather than the Ring of the Dying Star. Because it gives better pips and better healing. Because it gives 41% total instead of 35. If you add up the two the two uh, in and outgoing. You add those up. Same pen, obviously. And yeah. So, guys, thank you for watching my healing gear video. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, do, like, kind of a thing where I record my, my giving me, myself a max pip dryad. I don't really think it's worth it. You guys have seen the numbers. If you really want to, you can add it up. I don't recommend it. It gets, I'll just say I've done it before and I hit, like, 20k or something on a max pip dryad. I don't know. Uh, Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned by clicking the subscribe button. I will upload at least once a day. And, yeah, I'll make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And bye. I'll see you in my next one.